days after Senate Republicans passed their version of the tax reform bill, the two sides of Congress will now be working on a compromise bill. A big issue, though, is getting rid of deductions for state and local income taxes. Let's go now to our Lisa Balick, who's going to be on the headlines to break some of this down for us, Lisa. Yeah, this matters to everyone. Another big issue is whether you get to keep a deduction for state and local property taxes. There are big stakes for anyone who earns a paycheck in what they're about to decide. Getting rid of a deduction for state income taxes on your federal return is a big deal. The Oregon Legislative Revenue Office in Salem estimates a family earning under $75,000 could see a tax hike of about $1,200. In Oregon and Washington, for instance, a lot of middle class and upper middle class people take state and local taxes and, and deduct them. So it's sales tax up in Washington and, and income tax here in Oregon. And under the Senate plan, that'll be going away. Your standard deduction will be going up. So for most of those people, they're going to pay more taxes, but not that much more taxes. While the tax bills would cut back allowed deductions, more people will likely decide to take the standard deduction instead for a big reason. What we will likely see is folks who currently itemize their deductions, they may all of a sudden decide to, it is more beneficial for them to take the standard deduction. And that's because the standard deduction is almost doubling for each filing tax status. That's good news for lower income taxpayers who don't itemize. But with all this happening at the end of the year, tax accountants have some advice for you. First, if you pay your property taxes in installments. If they're paying their property taxes on installments, they might want to see if they can pay it by 12-31-2017. To get the deduction. To get the deduction because they stand the risk of losing it by uh, 2018. And tax experts say you may want to consider prepaying all of your state income tax owed by the end of this year to get the deduction for sure. Now, keep in mind that Oregon is one of just a few states where you can deduct all of your state taxes on your federal return. Eliminating that deduction definitely has a big effect here. The state says 40% of Oregon taxpayers claim that state deduction when they were itemizing. Thanks for the update, Lisa.